With the latest developments in the case of a nightmare adoption in Miami that ended with the discovery of a dead girl in West Palm Beach. News Channel 5's Liz Flynn is in downtown Miami where the Department of Children and Families just held their latest briefing. Liz? That's right, that meeting wrapping up just a short time ago. DCF Secretary David Wilkins talking about Victor Barahona as well as the state of the investigation. He started the meeting by saying that Victor Barahona has been released from Jackson Memorial Hospital just last night and is doing well. quickly responded to my request to lead an external review of this case. They have already devoted hours of time to hearing testimony and examining the record. And they have effectively accomplished this in the sunshine. It looks like these people were able to sort of... Okay, well, he did say that Victor is doing well. He is talking. He is now in a therapeutic foster home. Uh, meanwhile, one of the other things that uh, Wilkins addressed was talking about the panel's findings. The independent review panel that has been pieced together is expected to present their findings on March 15th. He said, though, there are still some questions they may never find the answers to. Were these people bad you know, back when they were originally adopting, or did something happen that, you know, changed their life that caused them to act in the ways they did? You know, I don't know the answer to that. I'm not sure this, this investigative team is going to answer that. I'm not sure the criminal investigation is going to answer that. Uh, you know, he is eating. He is, uh, you know, starting to become, you know, live a normal life again. Uh, he's got a long road of, of uh, rehab and recovery, and uh, our hopes is that, uh, you know, he'll He'll have a great childhood and have a great future. Well, Wil Wilkins went on to say that everything before February 14th will be released to the public. However, he says that some things that they have found after that date, after the day that uh, Nubia, Victor, and Jorge Barahona were found in West Palm Beach off the side of I-95, the findings from those days on, not everything will be released because law enforcement is concerned about compromising any criminal investigation. Of course, we will hear more from DCF tomorrow, and we will have more on the story coming up tonight at 5. We are live in downtown Miami. Liz Flynn, WPTV News Channel 5.